Hello, my name is Roman Beziak. I'm a photographer from Germany, origin from Slovenia. Um, and I did uh, work about Tashkent, uh, which you can see here in the Photon Gallery. So this work in Tashkent uh, stands in the wider context of uh, my work I'm doing since 15 years. I'm very interested in uh, socialist modernist architecture. So I started my work in 2005 and I was traveling through East Europe and Southeast Europe and was photographing all those buildings in these times nobody liked very much. I was very attracted by these buildings because to me it was a little bit a remembering of the time in Yugoslavia I spent as a child and also the idea of a society. Uh, those architecture is, uh, was interesting for me because uh, it is an uh, architecture which wasn't regarded as real uh, artistic expression. It was more regarded as a functional architecture without any uh, spirit in beauty. So it wasn't regarded as architecture in an artistic way, but I was very attracted by this. And when I started my work, uh, a friend of mine uh, who is architect asked me, why are you photographing these ugly buildings? And I answered, these ugly buildings are in a certain way also very beautiful and they show an idea of a society of the socialistic system. So in this uh, context, I also did the work in Tashkent. I was traveling in 2017, first time to Tashkent. And uh, you have to know Tashkent was uh, rebuilt after an earthquake in 1966. The urban planners and the architects had the chance to, uh, to make uh, or to construct a new city. A vision of Soviet modernism and they did it in the whole city. In 2017, of course, uh, many parts of Tashkent's architecture were rebuilt in a mainstream Central Asian mar marble style and all the beautiful facades are covered. Only the housing estates are still preserved in this um, early period of the 1960s. And uh, so I started to photograph all these buildings. So why I went to Tashkent? Once I read the article of a German writer, he is a poet, and he was telling that Tashkent has the most beautiful prefabricated buildings in the world. So this makes me curious and on a previous uh, journey in the 1990s I already saw Tashkent and I was not so interested so I returned and I wanted to have a look to those buildings. So the speciality in Tashkent is that these prefabricated buildings are decorated with traditional ornaments. So you will find a lot of mosaics and you will find also a lot of design, uh, beautiful design of the facades. Uh, this work has two lines in storytelling. One line are represented by the bigger images where I try to show the context of the buildings. So the streets and the places and the location so that you see the buildings in total in the size of their appearance. And the second line of storytelling is that I started to photograph details of the facades. So this is a very different approach in photography and was also for me new because I was used to these methods like Riduta, like uh, Canaletto has painted his cityscapes and I wanted to try something new. Uh, this kind of photography was also done already in the 1920s in Bauhaus. So the details are more featuring the, the uh, speciality of the facades. And they are not uh, photographed in the strict rules of architectural photography. They are uh, photographed like I was looking up to the buildings. 
and also I have a lot of diagonals and I t uh, started to uh, photograph the same object from a different angle, from a certain slightly different position and, and so I put together two very similar images. Thank you.